Hey everybody, this is uh, Donnie with Ships of Scale again. And I had been discussing for quite a while about how to um, <clears throat> rig up these lanyards right here. The dead eyes, we got the lanyards here, and the uh, rigging associated. I have to admit, I don't know all the nautical terms for these components. All I know is that we're just going to rig a lanyard. I'm going to try to do this without editing uh, the camera. And I finally got the Admiral here to make the video. But just a little short rundown. We've got a little pair of scissors here that I like to use. And a little pair of alligator clips to help hold things. Uh, got a couple of pair of tweezers here. Nothing special, nothing fancy. And this is one of my favorite tools, just a little uh, uh, pick. Helps kind of apply glue or punch holes or just whatever it is that you want to do. And this is a, a needle threader. And uh, you can pick these up. These do not cost that much. And we will use this a lot. Okay, for the rigging line, what I have here is this is uh, came from the uh, ochre kit. It's 0.15 millimeter, and you can see that you hear that little squeak noise. That's because it's got um, a good coating of uh, beeswax on it. And the nice thing about beeswax, it will help hold. Um, the shape. Uh, while I'm talking about beeswax, I'm going to go ahead and take some, and I'm just going to show how I drag this through several times. Now, I've already coated this once, but I'll do that about maybe ten times or so. Okay, I'm just going to lay this all to the side. Now I have this black, uh, sort of a I guess it's just a polyester. It's just point two five millimeter. I've already uh, measured that. And again, I'll run this through the, the beeswax. I already have. I'm just demonstrating how it just really cuts through. Okay. And of course, we have the the uh, the dead eye here my hand. So let's get started and let's see how things go. This shroud line here has already been coated with beeswax and I always approach it the uh, dead eye from this side. I'm just going to wrap this around like this. I'm just going to kind of estimate that this is about the distance uh, as the rest of them. I'm just going to kind of mash this with my finger because that beeswax will kind of help uh, hold this in place like this until this right here I'm just going to put this black line right in between the top of this dead eye and in the shroud. If I'm real careful enough I can make a knot and not disturb. Okay, we have us a knot here. Now if you notice that I'm not putting the knot around the shroud this way, if you notice that I actually put the knot like this. What I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to pass this line through here again. Does that camera detail show? Yep.
Okay, I got another loop. I'm going to run this through here again. See if I can grab the tweezers. I'm going to make another loop. Except that one went underneath. I need for this to go pass this way. Okay, so you can see how that's starting to close in. You see I got about I guess three wraps, four wraps, and I think I might go one more through. Now, I have about five wraps or so on this. I want to tug on this some to make that nice and tight, but not just excessively tight. Now, I haven't tied this off yet, but what I want to do is, this is my last shroud, and I'm going to pull this down. You bring the camera down just a little bit, you'll see that I'm trying to match up the height of this with this one. And you can see that I'm pretty much satisfied with that. You can see I, that it's a little bit higher than the others. That's okay because it's going to be uh, pulled down and tightened up some. So now I'm going to take this. This is a new uh, polyester line that the Admiral picked up for me. And it's a little bit it's got some good points and bad points but overall I think I like it a lot I'm just going to tie just a simple uh, square knot so we just want to stop there so we can get a good view of what what this looks like what I have so far okay this right here is just some ordinary uh, super glue or what we call CA cyanoacrylate. Just gonna put just a little touch there. This is where I come in with my pick and I'm just gonna take it and just kinda spread the glue around on that joint. That'll sit there for a, a second. Take my scissors here, just kinda cut that off. Cut that off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that my dead eye is is arranged in the fashion that I want to take my fingers and just kind of mash that that glue there. Just kind of take the shine off of it. So now this is what we got so far. We have our dead eye that's arranged. Just like that. Allow myself enough length here. Okay. Just gonna keep moving on forward. Now I'm going to take other black line here, just to make a little small loop. Take this, pass this through here. That looks about right. Now what I'm going to do, if you notice that these other tops here, you notice that the shroud has been cut on the right hand side of these. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. But in this particular situation, when I rig this up, I want this line to be on this side, and I'll show you why. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, just a little simple knot, and I'm going to put the simple knot up here. So I got the little black line here. And I'm going to take this 
and I'm going to make some very careful wraps. You see that it's starting to make a pretty good wrap there. And I'm just kind of holding my finger to make sure that the wrap does not come loose. Okay, let's see what we have here. We got about that much. I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to take this and just make a half of a hitch right here. I don't have to have the tweezers, I can just pull it it on down like that. Now this other black line that I pulled up, I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie it off. It keeps me from having a knot on both ends. Okay, so now you can see that I have my two black lines here and these two coming up. Again, I'm just going to touch this with a little bit of CA right here. This is, again, this knot here is pulled around to the back side so it won't be seen from the front. I know it's a lot of extra little uh, trouble, but it's worth it. I'm just going to kind of take my finger and mash. He just kind of pushes the glue in there. And this is just a technique that I picked up, I guess, out of my own thinking and also referring to uh, Leonard uh, Peterson's book. Okay. Looks like we got one done. We're going to make a little loop like this. And we're going to now pass this loop up through here again like this. And that looks about right, right there. We're going to pull this line right on this side. And we can start making our uh, passes. Okay. Running a little bit short on this black here. Maybe I can get this and pull this through like this and pull it on now so now we have two now I can take these two upper black lines and tie them together there we go now if you notice that this right here is on the left side because I want to have all my knots in the back A little touch of glue. Just want to kind of mop that on there. I can take my scissors and cut on both sides. Just kind of take my finger and just put a little pressure on it. Okay. This is so far this is what we're looking like uh, from the front side okay now I'm going to pull this back down and just look at a a lower view of the side you know just like that I'm just going to tie off to this dead eye down here looks like to me we guessed it just about right 
so now I can go ahead and I can cut off this this excess up here at the top so cut a little bit of this off up here I'm just going to cut a little of this excess off I want to make sure that, that the leading edge this little piece that I've cut off is actually going towards the front okay I hope that the Admiral is still doing okay holding the camera for me because next we're going to go ahead and rig up the uh, the dead eyes lanyards so right here I'm putting a little knot on the end of this and pull this around to make sure that I'm not have to make sure that uh, I'm actually pulling this from the right place okay make sure that this is oriented the way it's supposed to be and we're going to flip this around to the back and we're going to put our first line right here in the hole and we're going to pull it through now what I'm going to do put a little bit of CA right here okay now I'm going to pull this through here and instead of stopping what I like to do make sure it's in focus there you go is try to pull this through just like this and I'm just going to cut off the excess okay so this is step one this is where we are right now okay now I'm just going to see if I can just like this Here, and I guess it's time now to start grabbing the tweezers because we're just going to pull this through like this. I'm not going to pull that down real tight. Now, this one, of course, it goes into the top. Just like this. And make sure we're not going to snag on anything. Just kind of pull that. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Put this down here at the bottom. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put this on the last one. Low on the camera. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to put this right here at this last hole. Okay, this is where things start getting a little bit interesting. Um, there's different ways I tighten this down. I'm going to pull a little force. And I know that this is the first line from the back. Just kind of pull that tight. We can just kind of Okay, that looks to me like it's about uh, <clears throat> the same height as everybody else. Okay, this is where I'm going to take this right here, and I'm going to run this 
right through here. I'm going to get the camera up close so that you can see where I'm actually punching this through. See, I actually got it punched through this, uh, this lower section right in here. Okay, I'm going to take my line here. Pull this. Okay, you can see that I have pulled the line uh, right there on top of that eye. Yeah, just keep the camera right there. Okay, just going to pull this through. Very important to see where I'm actually pulling this wire through. I mean, the 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 line. Okay. I'm going to take this end here and run it through like this. Come out. Now I'm going to grab this, this one, and make sure it's tight against the back. Now just pull the, the slack out. Now I'm going to show the back side of this a real close up so you can see that uh, that this line right here is what come up from the bottom. I'm just going to flip it around. Okay, now I'm ready to wrap this around the uh, shroud. Just going to take this, go like this. Hold it in focus. This is out of focus. Okay, you see I'm still, there you go, still wrapping around. That's like the third one. Now, before I do the fourth one, I'm just going to take this here. and pull this through like this. It's still out of focus. Okay. I'm just about now uh, see what we did here. Let's take from the back side we'll see what's happening. I'm gonna put a little See a glue in the uh, admiral was pointing out to me that the battery is just about to die, so we're going to have to be a little bit quicker. Okay, take this. I'm just going to go up the back side of this right here. Looks like to me I might have accidentally cut my black line. <clears throat> But that's okay. We can fix that later. The point is, I'm just showing how to rig this guy up. So now I'm going to take this uh, needle threader. If you notice where I'm going to push it, push it right in there, just like that. Pull this out. I'm pulling this out there. Okay, I'm going to wrap to the right. This is going to come on through. And this is going to pull up. And all I have to do is just take a little alligator clip there. And then I can go ahead and make one more tie and tie this off at the top. I better put a little piece wax on this.
what this is going to do, this is just going to hold that light colored tan line down in the back. That's all this is going to do. Now I can cut off this light colored line in the back. I'd like to go back and inspect and see what happened to my okay. So basically that is it. Um, I'll just go back to this little piece up here at the top. And I can trim that down some more and see if I can flip this around you'll see the back side and how it looks okay well that's it that's my addition here of how I do this I'm not saying it's right wrong or whatever but it's just a technique that I found um, the unevenness of these top black wraps I can take care of that later I just take my finger and I just pull down to make those even okay that's it thank you very much for watching and until we do another goodbye